physical change and chemical change. Matter can be changed from one form to another. Some changes make matter look different. Other changes transform matter into another kind of matter. Crumpled paper, burning wood, melting ice cubes, lighted candles. Can you describe the change that can make matter look different? Which is an example of physical change? Which is an example of chemical change? Scientists divide the changes in matter into two categories, physical changes and chemical changes. Physical change. What happens when a physical change occurs? Fold the paper in a different form. Mold the clay into different shapes. Cut the cloth into small pieces. Change the color of the metal rod. Leave the three ice cubes in a bowl for 10 minutes. What have you found out? When you folded the paper, what property was changed? Did it change into a new substance? When you molded the clay, what property was changed? Did it change into a new substance? When you cut the piece of cloth, what property was changed? Did it change into a new substance? When you painted the metal rod, what property was changed? Did it change into a new substance? What physical change occurred in the ice cubes that did not occur in other objects, materials that you used? Physical change. A paper folded into a different form is still paper. Clay shaped into a pot is still clay. A piece of cloth cut into small pieces is still the same cloth. The metal painted in different colors is still a metal. The ice cubes left in the bowl for several minutes that had melted into water is still water. A physical change is a change in the physical properties of matter. It can be a change in size, shape, form, or color. A change in phase, like from one phase to another, is called phase change. Phase change is also physical change. An example of this are the ice cubes that turn to water, solid to liquid. Chemical change. What happens when a chemical change occurs? Observe the piece of paper. Describe it. Now your teacher will burn half of the piece of paper. Observe what happens to the piece of paper after burning it. Compare the burnt paper with the other half that is not burned. What have you found out? What happened to the piece of paper after burning it? Did the burnt paper retain its original characteristics or did it change to a new substance? What was formed? When a piece of paper is burned, it loses its characteristics because a new substance is formed. Burning causes the pieces of paper to change into ashes. The properties or composition of ashes are different from those of the paper. The properties or composition of matter can change. When a substance breaks down and loses its properties and a new substance is formed, we say that a chemical change has taken place. 
Heat may be or may not be applied in order for chemical change to happen. Look at the burning wood in the picture. After the wood has been burned, does it still have the same properties as the unburned wood? Other examples of chemical changes are the rusting of iron, roasting of marshmallow, explosion of fireworks, and rotting of food. Fill a glass with one half water and one half orange juice. Add one half teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of sugar. Observe what happens. What have you found out? What happened when baking soda and sugar were added to the orange juice? What caused the bubbles? What is in the bubbles? What happened to the baking soda and juice? Did a chemical change occur? How do you know? The baking soda and the juice are combined. This produced bubbles of carbon dioxide. Gas like carbon dioxide may be produced in chemical change. Chewing the bread and breaking it into smaller pieces is physical change. There is no new substance that has been formed. Chemical change occurs once acted upon by saliva and other digestive juices, and the bread breaks down into other simpler substances, which will be absorbed by the blood. Matter can be changed from one form to another. Physical change is a change in size, form, shape, or appearance with no new material or substance formed. Chemical change is any change in the properties of matter and results in the formation of a new substance.